the politics of food affect every single thing we eat, every food we put into our bodies. Um, we are choosing not only because it's something that we love to eat, but also because somebody is working very, very hard to make us think that. The food industry marketing has an enormous influence on what people eat. Nobody needs sugary beverages. They have no nutritional value other than calories, and yet they're consumed by vast swaths of the population um, because of the advertising. The food industry has increasingly gotten involved in funding nutrition research for its own marketing purposes, much more than basic science. And what we know about industry-funded research is that it almost invariably comes out with results that favor the sponsor's interest. Whether that's because of deliberate bias or unconscious bias, it's very hard to sort out. The kinds of messages that are being picked up by the media are messages that are quite misleading about what healthful diets are. Um, I mean, one example, of course, is chocolate. I mean, chocolate is now marketed as a health food. Chocolate is a candy. I wish it were a health food. Um, but an enormous amount of marketing has gone into trying to promote chocolate because it's got antioxidants as something that's going to reduce your risk for heart disease and other kinds of chronic conditions. That's misleading. Uh, we know what healthful diets are. They're diets that contain a lot of fruits and vegetables, not too many calories, and include a variety of foods. And the idea that one food has magical properties that are going to make you healthy, or that any one food is a superfood, is a marketing issue. It really doesn't have anything to do with the science. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.